Hey boys and girls, how's it going? It is Easter this weekend, which is so exciting. So I wanted to share a special book that I have that I think is super awesome. This book is called The Littlest Bunny in Missouri. An Easter Adventure. This is such a cute book. And it's about Missouri where we live, which is super fun. All right. Not long ago, in a land you might know, lived a girl named May and a boy named Joe. They had moved to Missouri and longed to explore, make new friends, have adventures, and many things more. Hmm. On the day before Easter, they rode into town they went to the pet store and looked all around. There in the front was a pen full of bunnies. The small ones were cute and the big ones were funny. They played with the bunnies and thought for a bit and then they agreed on the most perfect fit. The littlest bunny with the sweetest small hop. He's ours, May announced. Let's call him Flop. So Flop joined the family that sunny spring day. The littlest bunny was now home to stay. They played with the bunny until it was late, then settled Flop into his cozy, snug crate. May gave Flop a kiss and Joe patted his head, and then the two children both climbed into bed. A soft evening breeze blew in through the window, and May and Joe smiled as they slept on their pillows. But Flop had no time now to close his own eyes. He was preparing an Easter surprise. He was quite little. That much was true. But tonight our dear Flop had a big job to do. For he had a secret he hadn't let show. He was the Easter Bunny, and he had to go. A magical wind gave his whiskers a tickle, his nose, how it twitched, his ears, how they wiggled. Soon, Flop was quite different than ever before, and he couldn't wait, not for one moment more. He raced through the house and out into the night to where he had hidden his eggs out of sight. His marvelous burrow held Easter eggs plenty, to be quite exact, nine million and twenty. He packed up the eggs, he looked at the map, he fastened his goggles in his red flying cap. Then Flop hopped right into his hot air balloon, and soon he was soaring as high as the moon. He watched his first stop grow nearer and nearer. His show-me-state mission became even clearer. First, Flop balanced eggs on a tall building top. Then he went to the park, spreading eggs as he hopped. And then he dashed off for an Easter home run, then quietly hit chocolate eggs one by one. We know some of these places. This is Forest Park where the zoo is and Bush Stadium. We know some of those. With big bounces here and giant jumps there, Flop hid Missouri's eggs everywhere. He flew to the east, to the south, west, and north. He crisscrossed the state. He raced back and forth. Jefferson City, St. Louis, and St. Joseph got treats. Then Columbia and St. Charles, too, were complete. Kansas City and Springfield, the long list went on. Flop was delivering his eggs until dawn. Some of us live in those cities. That's exciting. 
Finally, Flop found his very last stop. He came to your house with a bounce and a hop. And there he delivered his Easter surprises. So many eggs of all shapes and sizes. And when he was done, he stopped for a rest. Yes, surely this Easter was one of his best. The morning sun rose on that bright Easter day. It was time to wake up for Joe and for May. But when they went over to find their friend Flop, the door was wide open, his crate was unlocked. There were eggs to discover, as all children know. But we just want Flop, cried May and cried Joe. They looked under their beds, they looked all around, but the littlest bunny just couldn't be found. But whose goggles were these? Who unfolded this map? Then from round the corner came a faint tap, tap, tap. They rushed and they stumbled, it had to be him, and there they found baskets. And something else was tucked in. It's Flop, they cried out and held him so close. Joe tickled his ears and May kissed his pink nose. Flop hugged them back, his new friend so dear. Happy Easter, Missouri. See you next year. Well, friends, I hope you have a wonderful Easter with your families and stay safe and stay healthy. Love you all.